now that you've taken some pictures, where do you sell those pictures online? Well, the easiest way to find these sites is just to type in stock photos on Google and you'll find plenty of stock photography websites where you can upload your photos. Now, let me just give you some of the top sites out there. Okay, there is Pond5, which pays 50% of the sale. Um, Alami, which pays 40% royalty per photo. And there is one pho photographer that I know of who makes $100,000 per year from just this one website. Okay, and there is IEM, which pays 50%. A lot of photographers are having success with this site. And there is Getty which pays 20 to 30%, but they do sell photos for a much higher price, uh, between $300 to $500, okay? And 123RF, this stock photo site, uh, the way they work is that the more photos you upload, the higher the royalty percentage that they'll pay you. And there's iStock, which pays 15 to 45%, depending on the photo, but they'll pay you a higher rate if your photos are exclusive to their site. And there's a Dreams Time, which has a very thorough approval process. But if you do get approved, they'll pay you 25 to 50% royalty and up to 60% if your photos, photos are exclusive with their site. Plus, they'll even pay you an extra 20 cents per photo. And then one of the biggest stock photography websites out there is Shutterstock. And they'll give you the most exposure because of their reach huge customer base and ability to advertise your photos and there's adobe which will give you almost as much sales but higher sales amounts and adobe stock is integrated into the adobe software there's iStock getty images uh, which can also get you a lot of sales now what i usually do advise to photographers is to stay away from some of the larger stock agencies such as shutterstock I stock, etc., because they're public held, publicly held companies, and they're more interested in making their shareholders happy, and not the individual contributors. They just don't have the incentive to help contributors grow and make more money. However, if you are a beginner, you may want to try out these larger stock agencies just to test out the waters and to gain experience at first, and then you could try out the smaller agencies such as Dreamstime, Stockfresh etc. The advantage of working with these smaller agencies is that there's less competition for you as a contributor. But then again, everybody is different, so you have to figure out what works for you. And interestingly, I know of somebody who makes more money uploading to free stock photo sites like Pixapay than other stock photo sites because people have the option to donate to you when they download your photos for free.